Hello everyone and welcome to Definitely Not Fried Chicken by Dope Games. Now, this is actually a game that I actually have played a little bit already. And by a little, I mean maybe a couple of hours or so. But anyway, let's start afresh. So you guys can see just how chaotic and fun this game actually is. And yes, you, if you guys can't tell, I actually really like this game already. There have been a few bugs, but the developers have been very quick to fix everything that's come up, which is brilliant. Fast responses from developers are the best kind of responses to get. Also, that music is amazing. I love that music. I will say this though, the loading time can be a little bit long at times, but you know, what can you do? I think the game heard me. Welcome to a sunny paradise city with clean streets. A booming economy. Healthy export market. New buildings are going up every day. A shopper's delight. A city blue collar workers call home. And white collars collar workers alike. All on the foundation of good local government. I messed up my wording a little there. You have moved across the country and accepted a job as a chicken shop manager to be a part of this prosperous community. F42420. Ah, howdy partner, you must be my new manager. My friends call me the major, but you can call me the major or the mayor? Major. But you can call me boss. Ah, ah. If you can get this place back up and running, I'll pay you a nice juicy bonus. How does 50,000 sound? To pan around the map, hold the middle mouse button and drag the mouse, or use WASD. I prefer WASD. To rotate the camera, hold the right mouse button down and move the, the mouse left and right, or use the Q and E button. I tend to use the right mouse button. I love little chickens, they're so cute and tasty. Place a chicken coop in the restaurant kitchen. Select the chicken coop from the objects list. Move it within the Sorry guys. Select the chicken coop from the objects list. Move it within the restaurant kitchen. Press R to rotate it and click to place. Make sure you're looking at the correct subcategory in the object catalog to see the related items. Time to turn these little chicks into little nugs. Put a small blender in the kitchen too to complete the process tree. Don't tell animal welfare about this one. <sighs> yeah, I can imagine. Well done on setting up the chicken nuggets production line. As you've learnt, for the whole production line to work, you must have at least one appliance from each part of the process tree. Now we need some new employees. I worked my last ones to the bone. <laughs> Right, we'll start with a regular worker. Put them to work making some nuggets and fries. We'll need another worker to serve our customers too. Put them to work on the cash register. Look at those broken signs out front. It makes us look like a joke. Hire an engineer to fix up our equipment. Oh, I was wondering what you were talking about for a moment there. We'll also need a cleaner to keep the place clean. Otherwise our food can become contaminated. We'll give our employees a custom work schedule. Let's make a new one for our workers. Click the icon to change what the employees will do for each hour. Now let's assign the new schedule to one of our employees. Also, new employees will love working their jobs for the rest of their lives. They do have another, they do have other annoying needs. Employees will need a bathroom to maintain their hygiene, along with a break room to take a break from their wonderful jobs. See that dirt patch out back? Let's build a toilet for our new employees there. I tried making my previous employees hold it in, and let me tell you, it wasn't pretty. <laughs> Good timing on that one. 
When in the building mode, simply click and drag on the grid to build a room of the selected type. Painting over existing rooms will remove them as well as the objects painted over. Once you're happy, the toilet is large enough and toggle, bu uh, toggle building mode off. It wouldn't be much of a water closet without a toilet. Place a toilet cubicle down in there. Add a door to access the water closet. Remember to select the correct category filter to see the related items. We want our employees to stay clean. Put a basin and a hand dryer in there too. The hand dryer must have its back to a wall. Our employees need a place to hang out and take a break. Let's give them a staff breakout room. Build a staff breakout room, then place a door. A brown sofa, a TV, and a coffee machine. Oops, wrong. Oops, wrong buttons completely. And a coffee machine, which is this one. There we go. Last thing we need to do is make some money. Talk in the chicken shop open. This means customers will start coming in during business hours. Great work, partner. You fixed my chicken shop right up. In fact, you did such a great job. I think this place could run itself. In other words, you're fired. <laughs> Excuse you? Wow, I forgot how rude the major is in the beginning. Hello, my name is Mr. Attorney. Mr. Attorney, you're attorney, okay. I represent a group of individuals who have an interest in seeing an increase of the supply and sale of recreational materials in this area. We heard you were looking for new opportunities. Are you interested? Yes, I am. You can trade your products with other local businesses for various upgrades. The university can supply new equipment, the gun shop will trade for new weapons and traps, and the scrapyard can provide new vehicles and other useful items. Great. The city has opened up this derelict park as a new enterprise zone. We have taken the liberty of providing you with two plots of land free of charge to get you started. The plots we are providing you free of charge are of this, are this corner plot. I cannot English today, I swear. I didn't read what you said, but never mind. You can buy more plots here to expand your buildable area. With each new plot you build, you will be able to hire an additional two employees for your chicken factory. While we're here, let's just place a vertical road to connect to the main road. You'll need this to connect to your garages later. Now you've got some land, I'll help you set up with a small farm producing basic cannabis. First, build a grow room and add a door. Then, following the process tree, place four basic cannabis beds, one cannabis drying pallet, and one cannabis cutting bench. You can improve the quality of your products by adjusting the environmental conditions in which they are produced. For example, if you add lights near the basic pump, cannabis pots, this will improve the quality of the cannabis to good or even excellent. Each appliance that processes a product has a useful tooltip which tells you what the ideal conditions are for products at that location. Hop over the product icon and current quality to check it out. As you can see, the lighting level is less than ideal. Let's do something about that. Place some lights near the basic cannabis pots. You will see their qualities improve as you do. One star represents bad quality, two stars represent good quality, and three stars represent excellent quality. Products are moved through several stages during production to reach the end product state. If you get less than half of the available product stars, the products will be of bad quality. If you get 
half the available production stars or more, the products will be of good quality. And if you manage to get all the production stars, the product will be of excellent quality. You are able to modify the AOE's amount to fine tune your factory design. We do not need all these lights to be fully lit and it will be more economical to turn some of them down. Click on the lights to open up their configuration panels, then turn the light down, value down to 50. You will see the effect this has on the running cost of the lights. You cannot select objects for configuration whilst in build mode. Wait, what? Oh. I have to do both of these. I keep forgetting it's both of you I need to work on. There we go. The overlay options will show you the current environmental values for each grid location. Very useful for fine tuning conditions. Turn off the light overlay when you're ready. Congratulations! Your farm is now producing excellent quality basic cannabis. Better quality drugs fetch higher prices. We also need to hire some workers to turn these basic cannabis seeds into pure profit. Let's hire two workers now. Using the task toggles on the task panel, let's get these guys working on the basic cannabis production line and vehicle loading tasks. Sometimes you require unique items that your employees can use to get bonuses. Let's equip one now. Select one of the cannabis workers by clicking on them, or select an employer by clicking on their name in the employees panel. Gardening gloves will provide a productivity bonus for workers who are producing cannabis products. Assign gardening gloves to this worker. Close it. Great. You now have a small, basic cannabis farm. Now you have successfully created your product. You need to set up a storeroom or get to get boxed and ready for shipping. Build a storeroom, then add a door and two boxing stations. These will be used to package your product ready for shipping. Okay, so two boxing stations, which is this. Place two storage shelves. Well done. Your product can now be boxed and is ready for distribution. You'll need to hire an armor guard to protect your product. Hire a guard from the employees panel. There we go. Now select the guard by clicking on them and assign them a baseball bat. Your production now has at least a little protection. Your guard will now freely roam around your compound or if you want, you can learn to give them a room group using the criminal education program later on. Now you've made a package of product, you'll need a delivery vehicle to share it with the world. Select and place the moped garage from the build menu. Great, you're almost ready to start shipping out your products to loyal customers. Now we just need to buy a hotline. Purchasing the hotline monument will allow you to start accepting orders from around the city. These customers will pay hard, hard cash for your product. Navigate and purchase. To start getting calls from interesting customers, turn on your hotline. The menu below contains all the drug types. I've only ticked the invasive cannabis one for now. Other monuments will provide you with benefits, especially if you upgrade them. These hotline customers will pay you for as many boxes as you deliver within the time limit. Now you're a bona fide, genuine drug exporter. Your whole operation is now up and running. I'll leave it to it. If you need any extra help, 
see the criminal education program and don't forget your employees will literally die for you if you don't look after them ha 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 oh and keep an eye on that major fella he might not be happy with you stealing his business this is where the criminal education program is located by the way so guys that is the basics of this okay guys that was definitely not fried chicken given to me my dope games absolutely love the game uh, at some point I will actually show you how far I actually got on my main playthrough and guys if you like the content I am putting out link to my coffee as always is in the description below and remember it's definitely not fried chicken and I'll see you in the next video bye bye for now